big cook, little cook. Welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook, want you to come and play. Surrounded by funny creatures. Aliens, small, small, there's aliens. <laughs> Gibbly fish cake, Nicky Nacky. Who are you? What have you done with small? <laughs> I am small. Fooled you. Hey? I got dressed up as an alien whilst you were sleeping, and I put up all these alien balloons. I didn't mean to scare you. Well, you did. Oh, I really thought I'd gone to sleep and Woken up on another planet. Oh, come on, Small. We've got a customer. Whew. I'll just take these off. There we go. OK. I'm on my way. Woohoo! <laughs> Who's our customer today, Small? Wow! It's an astronaut! Uh, uh, what's an astronaut? An astronaut is somebody who flies into space. Wow! Well, what would we cook for somebody who flies into space? Well, our cafe is the best cafe in the... in the universe. So what would be a real treat for an astronaut? I think it's time to look in my book! <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's Adventures in the Big World. Let me see. It was a really windy day. So windy, in fact, I got blown right off the ground. Soon I was higher than mountains, even higher than clouds. So high, I went right off into space. I kept going and going, and soon I passed some astronauts in a spaceship. Did they get a big surprise seeing me whoosh past like that? But I kept on going and going, past the moon and the stars. And it was when I was right out in the middle of nowhere that I bumped into another astronaut. Poor thing, he was lost in space, just floating. He didn't know how he was going to get home. He couldn't catch a bus or a train or a taxi because there aren't any in space. The only way to get home is by spaceship. The trouble is, he drifted away from his spaceship. His friends were looking for him, but space is so big they couldn't find him anywhere. But I did. Astronaut Small to the rescue. And the way I rescued him was really clever. I just happened to have my trusty icer with me, the thing that does the icing on cakes. The astronaut and I were drifting apart quite quickly. I started icing as fast as I could. And soon, I'd iced a great big arrow pointing straight to him. Well, once I'd done that, it wasn't long before his chums in the spaceship spotted the arrow and came along to rescue him. And the good thing is, they all had plenty of icing for tea as well. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. But what about you, Small? How did you get home? Oh, that was easy, Ben. I just turned around my ISA like this and used it as a rocket, squirting myself back to Earth. Ooh! <laughs> mm hmm Very nice, Small. And a great story, too. But does it help us think of something we can make for our astronaut? Hmm. Let's see. In space, there's spaceships and moons and planets and stars. Hmm. Oh, we... oh. I know! Big Cook's Big Cook 
cookery book. Of course, the big cookery book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's book. Well, well, look at this. Moon rocks. Perfect. With marzipan spaceships. Sounds great. What do we need? You read out the ingredients, little cook, and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need flour. Flour, OK. Oh, yes, flour. Got that. Not that sort of flour. Plain flour for cooking. Oh, <laughs> oops. Sorry. Plain flour. Yep, got that. Then we're going to need caster sugar. Caster sugar. Got that too. Butter. Butter in the fridge. OK. Butter. Yes, butter. One egg. One egg. There we go. One egg. A few raisins. Raisins. OK. Oh, raisins. Got those. Food colouring, if you like. OK. Food colouring as well. There we go. And last but not least, marzipan. Oh, marzipan. There it is. It's yummy. Funny stuff, isn't it, marzipan? It's not a meat, it's not a vegetable, and it doesn't grow out of the ground. What is it? Why don't you zoom off and find out, little cook, and I'll get everything ready. Good idea, Ben. I'll see you later. <sighs> hey, why don't you come along too? Whoosh! <laughs> go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Whoa, that was a bumpy journey. Oh, look at all those nuts. They're almonds. They grow on trees in hot countries. Wow, look at all the almonds. Oh, can you notice anything different about them? They've had their skins taken off. They're all white now. The almonds have been crushed. They don't look like nuts anymore. They've turned into a gooey almond paste. And now all the gooiness has to be cooked. Green for go! Up it goes. In it goes. It has to be cooked for a long time. Oh, this is taking a long time. Oh, hooray! It's cooked! It's been turned into marzipan. All the big lumps of marzipan are flattened into long, thin sheets. Oh, look! The marzipan has been cut into a shape. What shape is it? It's a circle. Marzipan can be used to decorate cakes. This lady is making a beautiful flower. Well, thank you. Whoa! Woohoo! I'm back. I'm back, Ben. Oh, it was brilliant. I, Ben. Ben. Oh, come on, crumpets. <laughs> oh, all right, Small, have a good trip, did you? Were you sleeping? Me, yes. No, 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 I was just, uh, of course not. I, I was just checking that the uh, work surface was nice and clean, you know, 
can't uh, cook unless everything's spotless, can you? Oh, <laughs> Ben, it was brilliant. I saw how marzipan is made. It comes from these nuts called almonds, oh. and they get all mushed up. Everything ready? Oh, yes, all measured out and ready to cook. We're all ready, so take a look, and we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, all clean, clean and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to moon rock cakes? There was plain flour, 250 grams, caster sugar, 100 grams, butter, 100 grams, egg, one egg, raisins, a few, food colouring, any colour you like, and last but not least, marzipan. For the decorations. Whoopee! Let's get started. OK. Mix the flour and the butter together in the same bowl. And my hands are nice and clean, which is very important for this. There. Rub the mixture in between your fingers and thumbs until it gets all sticky and crumbly. Now, this could take some time. So while I'm doing this, Small, would you be so kind as to beat up an egg for me? What does that mean, Ben? It means whiz it all up together. OK. One egg beaten up, coming up. Excellent. Keep on rubbing the mixture. There. It's getting all crumbly now. I'm going to use a straw to break the egg. <laughs> Time to add the sugar and the raisins. And mix them all up together. Uh, come on, Small, you can do it. Uh. Small, you're supposed to crack the egg first. What do you think I'm trying to do, Ben? Let me... There. Can you beat it now? I'll need it in a minute. One egg beaten up, coming up. Here we go. Yeehaw! whoop de doo Round and round it goes. Give the mixture one more mix-up. Oh, there. Lovely. Yeehaw! That's enough, Small. Woohoo! Round and round it goes. Come on, fast as you can. I Woo! think that egg's beaten up quite enough, Small. Oh, I was just getting into that. Oops. Sorry, Ben. You'd better go and get cleaned up. I'll finish this. <sighs> right, thank you, Small. Now, let's add this egg to the rest of our mixture. There we go. Thank you. And let's give it a good stir. Let's mix it all in there. Get all the egg in. Oh, that's nice. Great. Now, I'm going to add some food colouring, but you can always make it without. So I'm going to put about five drops in. One, two, three, four, five. And give it one more good mix-up. I'm on the moon! <laughs> then we're going to make the mixture into little balls. Just like that. There we are. And then pop them on a baking tray. That's done. Oh, they look tip-top. Now, in the oven they go, which I've preheated to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark six, and 
make sure you get your grown-up helper to put these in for you because the oven is hot, hot, hot. I've even got to wear these special gloves. They look like space gloves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. In they go for 15 minutes and then they're all done. I'll set the timer. <laughs> there we go. And now for the marzipan decoration. All I've got to do is roll it into a ball. There. Here we are. I've made spaceships in lots of different shapes. And I've added a few raisins for portholes. There we go. The moon rocks, small. The moon rocks. There we go. There we are. Oh, they look lovely. There we go, nice and gentle. Out they come. Pop them down. Now, we need to leave them to cool for a little while, Small, so while we wait, let's rearrange the spaceships on the plate. I bet our astronaut's really hungry now. I bet he is. There we go. Nice and cool now. Pop it on. They look yummy. Oh, moon rocks and spaceships coming through. All done. And off it goes. Whoosh! <laughs> So, what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet, Small. Time to clean up and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. A lovely clean plate. But what's that? Let's see, shall we? It looks like our astronauts enjoyed his moon rocks and spaceships. And he's left us a note. What does it say? What does it say? Let's see. It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, the best moon rocks I've ever tasted. Hooray! Here's a real one as a souvenir. Whoa. Wow, that's a real moon rock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and off he goes in his spaceship back to the moon. Yeah. A happy customer with a nice full tummy. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. I'm Ooh. on the moon. Welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook. We'll cook for him.